Hungary vs England Live, Nations League Team News, Lineups and more tonight. England begin their UEFA Nations League campaign today as they take on Hungary in Group A3. Germany and Italy are the other teams in England's group, so Gareth Southgate will want to kick off the Three Lions run with a positive result this evening. The game was originally supposed to be played behind closed doors, but the Hungarian FA have allowed 30,000 schoolchildren in to witness the clash after the hosts exploited a loophole against their punishment for racist behaviour. England beat Hungary in their World Cup qualifier on the road, but drew at Wembley in their most recent encounter. Southgate could potentially hand debuts to James Justin and Gerard Bowen as Four Nations League games will be played in quick succession, meaning changes to lineups and personnel are expected to be commonplace over the next two weeks. The England manager's main priority will be to utilize these matches to finalize who will be in his squad for this year's World Cup, making performances more valuable than results in some cases as players stake their individual cases for inclusion. He'll also be hoping England can keep up their recent record of challenging for honours in whichever competition they are taking part in. Follow all the action as Hungary host England in the Nations League. England on Saturday start a mammoth international break, with a seemingly interminable four games, and yet the most important match will still be one they are not involved in. Gareth Southgate's squad will gather to watch Sunday's playoff between Wales and Ukraine, that decides the last place in their World Cup group. It will be welcome given the amount of downtime the players have over these two weeks, which is why it could also offer the opportunity to provide some education on the more problematic side of Qatar 2022. It is fair to say that more than a few of them have been echoing Kevin De Bruyne's comments asking why they have to face four matches at the end of such a long season. Some of that is because of the change to the calendar enforced by Qatar, but it also means that the World Cup, for all the charm of the Nations League, is what this break is really all about. Its length represents that of a rugby-style international camp, so Southgate can properly work on what he wants and any new ideas he might have. Read Miguel Delaney's full match preview here. England's tricky group featuring Germany, Italy, and Hungary is the penultimate camp before Gareth Southgate takes his team to the World Cup in November.